welcome to mini tutorials in spectroscopy. Let's talk about electronic transitions. Electronic transitions in molecules involve moving from one potential energy surface to another. This is accompanied by vibrational and rotational transitions. We can define the total energy of the system as the sum of the electronic, vibrational, and rotational energies. Thus, electronic transition wave numbers can be calculated by summing the differences in electronic vibrational and rotational energies between the ground and excited electronic states. Owing to the fact that electronic transitions affect changes in electronic and nuclear motions, we must consider conservation of angular momentum from both the electronic and nuclear perspective. If there is no change in electronic angular momentum, we are bound by the delta J equals plus or minus one selection rule for rotational transitions. If the electronic angular momentum changes during the transition, like the orbital angular momentum changes in a sigma to pi transition, our rotational selection rule becomes delta J equals plus or minus one or zero. For example, consider the A to X transition of methylidine. Since delta lambda equals plus 1, we expect P, Q, and R branches. To determine the first lines in these branches, it is useful to draw an energy level diagram. In our discussion on molecular term symbols, we learn that omega can be viewed as the sum of lambda and sigma, or as the projection of J. The implication of this is that J is greater than or equal to omega, since in a rotationless molecule, J equals omega. For this reason, the lowest J value for the doublet pi one-half ground state of CH is J equals 0.5, and the lowest J value for the excited doublet delta three-half state is J equals 1.5. Consequently, the first lines in the P, Q, and R rotational branches are P 2.5, Q 1.5, and R 0.5. Using our expression to calculate transition wave numbers, we may then calculate the positions of these rho-vibronic transitions using the molecular parameters for the A and X states. I hope that you found this short video on electronic transitions useful. See you next time.